Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So I have a really fun video for you guys today. I have been a busy little elf coming up with a bunch of different handmade ornament ideas that I am gonna share with you guys today. Uh, they all are very quick, very easy, very inexpensive. Mine sort of take a handmade, slash sewing sort of theme. So my whole tree um, is like an homage to my favorite hobby and my gig here on YouTube. Um, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna show you um, each ornament and then each variation of each ornament that I made and then give you a quick tutorial on how to make them, the supplies that you need and you know the quick, the few little steps that um, it takes to make each ornament. So. First things first, I'm gonna start with you something that you guys should be familiar with, and that is this really adorable yarn pom-pom ornament. So this was made using the Clover pom-pom maker. And for my tree, I have a small little tree that sits on like my TV stand. And so I made smaller pom-poms for the top of the tree and then gradually made larger ones until you get to the bottom of the tree where I have the largest uh, pom-pom maker size um, for the ornament there. I also used two different colors of yarn. So I used navy blue and gold because that was kind of the theme that I was going with for my pom-pom. So if you have one of those nostalgic trees, make red and green and all of those great colors. If you have more of a modern tree, then you can make them in all white and that would be really beautiful. You can even mix the colors as you're winding them around the pom-pom maker and that would give you a little bit of dimension in your pom-pom. And in addition to the little yarn ones, I also made pom-poms out of scrap fabric. How cool is that? So I basically just took my fabric, I cut it into itty bitty like quarter inch strips and then just started wrapping the strips one after the other around the pom-pom maker and this is how it came out. I think that if you use lightweight fabric, like this super lightweight cotton that this gingham is, um, or like a chalet or like a lining or something like that, super lightweight, you're gonna be able to get a fluffy little pom-pom like I did. Anything more than that, and it might look a little jagged. In order to get the little, uh, well, I used like a twine type of thing to hang it on my tree. You can use ribbon, you can use all kinds of different things in the step in the pom-pom maker when you wrap the yarn around the entire maker and tie it into a knot use whatever material you want to show for your hanger in that place instead super super simple so these were super fun to make super easy to make if you got the pom-pom maker from the diy gift i video diy gift idea video that i posted last month beginning of last month then you've got a really inexpensive way to make little ornaments. We're not done with the Christmas decorations yet. In addition to the garland video, I also have a sewing themed wreath that is really, really adorable. So I'll be talking to you guys about that, as well as some fun little like signage, some fun little decor items. I've had just a blast the last few weeks making all of these little things, coming up with all of these ideas. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to put some of them in your home for this holiday season. That's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.